from the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the Tom Micah Show. I have been with women from around the world. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's of every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Jeremy sends us an email. It says, hello, professor. I'm a 34-year-old male, and I'm currently engaged to a wonderful girl. My only complaint about her is... She wants children. I already have a child from my only other marriage, in which I learned the hard way most of what you teach. When I told her this, she gave me the same response that every woman gives. But I want to have kids of our own! Why is it, asks Jeremy, that women cannot be satisfied with pre-existing children? More than one of my relationships have ended by me saying I already have a child and I don't want or need another one. They don't care about the issue of child support because they can only benefit from it. Every time I bring up the idea of getting a vasectomy, she gets upset and moody. Why don't you just do it? It's your body. She can have an abortion without telling you. You can have a vasectomy. Why don't you just get one? Jeremy says, I've tried to bring up the fact that if I had given every one of my girlfriends a child who has said the same thing to me, I want kids of our own. She still doesn't see it my way. This is a huge problem because it doesn't matter if I have kids or if she has kids. It's kids of our own that they want as if children are an accessory of a relationship. Can't I just buy them a diamond necklace? Your faithful student, Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm going to I'm going to bond with you for a second here. I uh I had a relationship with somebody uh, that uh, I never married. The relationship was over. And by the way, it was over, and I was relieved it was over. I was just ready to move on with my life. And I got a call. I swear I got a call. And here is what she said to me. She said, I'm breaking up, and I don't even have a kid by you to remember you by. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's the purpose of having children? It's like buying a souvenir at Dodger Stadium. Remember you went to a ball game? You know, you this way you'll remember we had this miserable relationship by having like a... Yeah, it's like picking up a bobblehead doll, you know? You just have a little token of my appreciation, a little parting gift. There you go. Here's a child that looks like me. It's been very nice knowing you. <laughs> This is how women are thinking in the 21st century. This is how they're thinking. This is how they are. I don't even have a kid to remember you by. (laughs) You have got to be kidding. That's sure. Here's a relationship I'm trying to get out of. What I want is the next 18 years of arguing with this person that I was trying to get rid of. 
about uh, how much money I'm going to give her for the raising of the kid and where it's going to go to school and all that. That's exactly what I want. I mean, I was so relieved to be getting out of this relationship, and then she tells me that she doesn't have a kid to remember me by. That's the idea, sweetheart. I don't want you to remember this ever happened. I want you to pretend this relationship never, ever happened. Look at that uh, on the screen there. That's Bart. He, like, gained 50 pounds. <laughs> I, I was on the air, and I saw a guy look like my friend Bart, only bigger. <laughs> Look, look, there he is, Dean. See, there he is. <laughs> I, I was looking at the TV. You ever, you ever have that happen to you? You look at the screen for a second. I thought it was this friend of mine. <laughs> Out of the corner of my eye, I'm seeing this friend of mine on the people's court, only 50 pounds heavier. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm sorry I got distracted. I was seeing like my one of my best friends on the screen on the people's court. Here he is walking over to the wall now. <laughs> Looks like him even from the from the side, from the back. Look at that. My goodness. <laughs> I wish I had a tape of this. Anyway, here's the deal. Uh, I don't understand this myself. Like, if you've got kids, why is it important that you have more kids with her? I know these guys. Uh, there's one guy I met in the radio business who has five children with five different ex-wives. One with each ex-wife. Each one of them insisted on having a kid with him. The existing kids were not good enough. They had to have a kid with him. Now, I, I happen to believe that the purpose of this, the purpose of this, I can't stop looking at this guy. He looks like my friend, only fatter. <laughs> that's, that's unnerving. This guy looks just like my friend, only fatter. And he's on the people's corner. Okay. I don't even know why we have the people's court on with the sound now. There's probably something else on this channel. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, turn that off. I'm getting distracted. I can't look at this guy anymore. <laughs> now, the bottom line here is this. I don't understand why women need to have your child. If you've got kids, isn't that enough? I, I agree with what Jeremy is saying here. Jeremy's got a kid. He doesn't want to have more kids. And then there are some people, there are some guys who don't want to have kids at all. I mean, imagine if you met the love of your life, somebody you were just crazy about, and everything was great. Everything. You know, you get along, and you, you enjoy talking, and it's the best sex you've ever had. The person's really attractive, and they're really attracted to you, and you get along on all 29 dimensions of compatibility. The Dr. Neil Clark Warren says there's 29 dimensions of compatibility. I believe that. I believe everything he says. And uh, all right, so you get along in all these 29 dimensions, but the, the one thing is that she wants to have a kid. I mean, how many of you have gotten dumped over something like this? Like, it's the, just the one thing. It's the one, everything else great, but it's that one thing. And that's what Jeremy's going through here. He's already got a kid, but she wants to have a kid with him. Is this reasonable? Is Jeremy unreasonable, saying he'd like to have a vasectomy? In my opinion, Jeremy better have a vasectomy because she's going to be putting holes in every condom in his possession. She's going to have that baby. I'll tell you right now, Jeremy, listen to me, Jeremy. She's going to have that baby. She's going to find a way to have your baby. Trust me, she's going to rape you in the middle of the night. She's going to put holes in the condom. She's going to do something. You're going to wake up, and she's going to be riding you like like the Lone Ranger riding uh, silver. You know what I'm talking about? Middle of the night. You just think that you're some stud. You wake up in the middle of the night, and some chick is riding you. But believe me, there's another agenda afoot here. Trust me when I tell you. So, I mean, I would say Jeremy should not even marry this chick. I mean, uh, what do you think? Jeremy is, well, of course, I think Jeremy shouldn't get married anyway. But uh, for, for, for the moment, let's drop my objection to marriage. Let's say, okay, in some cases people get married, in some cases they don't. Uh, do you think he should marry this particular woman? 
She says she wants to have his kid. He definitely doesn't want to do it. It's the one thing wrong in their relationship, says Jeremy. Now, by, by the way, I, I imagine there's other problems that he's not telling me about, but that's fine. Should he marry her? Should he give in? She, he's already got a kid. Should he give in just because she wants to have a baby with him? Kids of our own. We need kids of our own. It's not enough that you had kids with some other woman. We need kids of our own. Whoa, 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 One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Tom like it. I'm from Mexico, and uh, this is pretty much the best show I have ever heard in my life. My English is not that good, but with your show, I learned a lot of English. Oh, so tell us some of the English phrases you learned here. Um, Tom, Tom, bitch. <laughs> and, uh, pretty much just phrases like that. It's the Tom Like It Show. the Tom Likas Show. I want 800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Okay. We're talking about a listener who's uh, got a girlfriend and all. It's true love. He's getting married. And now it turns out that... <laughs> <laughs> she wants to have a baby with him. Having uh, the fact that he has a kid from a previous relationship, not good enough. Not good enough. He wants, uh, she wants to have another kid or more kids with him. What do you do in that situation? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Hey, you know, I'm in kind of the same situation with a twist. I have three kids from previous relationships, and my girlfriend and I talked about it, and I told her flat out, I says, look, I don't want any more kids. If you want kids, you got to date other guys because I don't want any more. And she's cool with it. Her mom, on the other hand, is telling us, you guys have to have kids because I want grandchildren. I want my own grandchildren. And I'm like, no way, no way, lady. That just ain't going to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. And what did your girlfriend do? Well, my girlfriend's fine with it. My girlfriend and I, when we when we decided to start seeing each other and that was it, I told her, okay, look, then i got to have this conversation with you because I've got three kids and I don't want any more. And she's like, that's fine. Your kids will be my kids. So she's cool with it. But then we went to dinner with her mom, and her mom's like, why are you denying my daughter the opportunity to have kids? And I'm like, lady, I'm not. You're, <laughs> And she just got bent out of shape because I didn't want any more kids. Her mom got completely bent oh. out of shape that I didn't want any more kids. So uh, what do you do with that? Well, her mom doesn't know that it's not a matter of capability at this point because I took the bullet out of the gun. Oh, so, very good. Um, well, why, I, I you, why don't you me. just why don't you just tell her mother that and be done with it? Uh, she does for some reason. She doesn't want to tell her mom. Why not? I, man, I don't know. <laughs> maybe she. Maybe your girlfriend's not on your side as much as you think. Well, no, because she knows that I've had a vasectomy. She knows I can't have kids. No, but the point is, uh, clearly, she uh, uh, maybe she wants to reserve the opportunity to have kids later with somebody else. Well, and. You know what? That's fine because we're not getting married ever. I already, we ain't getting married. That ain't going to happen. So if she decides that she wants to have kids, she's going to have to find some other son. But she didn't tell you why she doesn't want her mother to know this. No, she didn't tell me why she doesn't want to tell her mom that that. Did, I can't were have you kids. curious about that? Don't you think you need to know that? You know, it it never occurred to me until I talked to you to ask that question. But now I'm going to have to ask her. Of course, you have to ask her that because this could be an issue down the line. Well, 
And I, well, I guess to me it won't be an issue because if that's what she tells me, then it's no. Nah, but the point is, you want to drive the bus. The, the point is, she'll dump you when she decides she's thirty or thirty-five or whatever age she considers the cutoff date. She'll dump you. You want to be the one who dumps her. That is a very good point. I, I, I honestly didn't even think about it that way. And I guess it's uh, I guess it's time to have a conversation when uh, when I talk to her tonight. I would say I'm gonna have to definitely have to talk to her and say, "Hey, what's up? Why aren't we telling your mom?" So I I will definitely have to do that, Tom. Your advice is golden as always. That's a and red that's a red flag, Sean. It's it, okay, okay. I will I will definitely have to to fix that then because um, I've listened to your show so much and I don't know why I have a girlfriend. Honestly. Because I'm a listener of your show, it's like, what am I doing? Well, and here, think about it this way. Do you like when her mother nags you about that subject? Oh, heck no. And and if you told her the truth, that would end the nagging, wouldn't it? That's true. It, it, yeah, because so, there would be no... <laughs> that's so true. why in the world would she not want you to tell the truth? You know what? I've got the perfect day to do it, too. Now that I'm thinking about it, her mother's birthday is on Thursday. <laughs> and I had to clear my schedule because apparently we're going out to dinner. And I work in the insurance and financial industry, so I had an appointment Thursday night with a client. Happy birthday, Mom. I got and the old snip stamp. That's what I'm going to have to do for as a birthday present. I think that's just what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> I mean, why should you have to listen to that nagging and screaming? Why should you have to put up with that? Well, and I shouldn't. You're right. But I guess on my side of it is is... My girlfriend doesn't at all. She doesn't nag or scream or howl. No, or but her anything. mother does, and you have to listen to it because your girlfriend won't let you tell her the truth. Well, she's not going to have a choice. Good. I'm just going to tell her on Thursday. Good. Hey, Tom, it was a pleasure talking to you. Can you blow me up? I certainly can. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Kylie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Hi. I have um, kind of a similar situation with my ex-husband where he actually, when, before we even got married, I knew that he wanted to have kids and I didn't. Oh, wait a minute. If you knew that before you got married, why did you get married? Because I was 19 and... Stupid. People, yeah. <laughs> 19 in the military, the whole shebang where I figured... I could change him, and he could change me, and all everything. Or actually, I kind of was hoping that he'd eventually realize how young we were, and he'd wait. Because I wanted to have kids eventually, just not at nineteen. I was thinking more like thirty. So, but what happened was, so we got married, and the situation of why don't you want to have a baby with me turned into you don't love me enough to have a baby. You don't think we're going to last, and that's why you don't want to have a baby. Um, he wanted me to choose either him or my career, and then it just blew up, and we were married for about a year. <laughs> really? Yeah, so it's like I think I definitely think that that's something that you have to agree upon before you take the plunge and get married because it's not just going to resolve itself. It's not like you're going to wake up one morning. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, okay. nothing resolves itself. Yep, yep. Exactly. It's you like cannot you, know, you cannot marry the person you hope will become the person you want to marry. Yes, and that's what we both did. And it's it's I mean, and we're great friends to this day, but it's like and now he has a kid and he's happy with the kid and everything like that cuz that's what he wanted and I'm single and happy. So Never should have done it. No, well, it was a learning experience, but yeah, definitely with the. Guy and by by the way, you, you know, you don't have to put your hand in the open flame to learn that it's hot. <laughs> I think you do when you're like eighteen or nineteen. No, you years really old. don't have to. <laughs> you really don't have to. Oh no, I know that now. That's why, like, I kind of wanted to call and let that guy know. It's like, dude, you guys have to agree on that kind of stuff, or else, yeah, she's going to try to trick him into having a baby with her, and then he's going to be unhappy. Well, even worse now, uh, you know, I mean, uh, they have to argue about this. Yeah. He, he's on the verge of getting married. Forget it. it, it yeah, it, that's another thing. If you're arguing that much before you get married, duh, just imagine once you do get married. Right. Amplified. That's right. So it's ridiculous. Kylie, thank you. No problem. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Chuck on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hey, Dad. Son? <laughs> You're going to be proud of me. Oh? My ex fiance, who I had gotten a really big shut up ring for, we were going to get married. She wanted to have another baby. <clears throat> I threw her and her mom and her two kids out on Christmas Eve, and they went to the shelter. Really? I wasn't even sure it was my. She, she told me, oh, I'm pregnant. I, I don't. I'm not. She don't. You, I, I suspected some infidelity already, and she wants to have this baby she says she's pregnant with. Wow. It's like, you know, I've, I've got four kids. You have two, and you want to have another one with me because I'm the love of your life. I don't understand that. I, <laughs> I'm, it's just amazing. I, you know, I, I, I think I learned some lessons. The, there was a, a time you said something about, you know, if they, if they come home and say, oh, he, I, I deserve friends too, they're probably doing the guy in the broom closet at work. That's right. And you're proud of me because that woke me up. And after looking around, it was language, I'm a meal ticket. Mm-hmm. I'm a meal ticket. That's it. And she wants to have, uh, she wants security. Her mom's right. coaching her, telling her, have a baby. You could chat. See, I got a Mr. Clean job going, you know. I uh, went wow. back to school, and I'm doing uh -huh. pretty good, you know, for myself and my kids. And, and she just wants to get on the bandwagon. Uh-huh. I threw her out Christmas Eve. said, you know what? I've seen this movie before. I love that. Christmas Eve. Goodbye. How'd you react to that? They went to the shelter. She called the police on me because she couldn't get, because I told her she couldn't have the ring. She couldn't keep the ring. <laughs> and she called the police because she wanted a ring to remember me by. <laughs> to remember me by. Wait a minute. You, you love me so much you want to remember me the rest of your life, so you need to call the police on me. That being arrested on Christmas Eve. I love you so much. I want to see you go to jail. Yeah. The, the day before Christmas. Oh, Jesus. I let her go to the shelter. Fine. That's, you know, where you want to go. You, you know, I think you need to go find somebody better. <laughs> I love that. I love when chicks hold stuff over your head and you say, well, why don't you just leave? Yeah, I, why I don't, don't you say, just leave? Why do you need to put up with my crap? <laughs> go find someone better. If I'm that bad, you need to pitch me out every single day. That's and, right. You know, oh, wh wh what are you doing here? Go get someone better. You don't need to take my crap at all. <laughs> You're absolutely right. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Hector on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Father, I have sin. <laughs> I know so many of you do. I, uh... Got young, got stupid, got married. Uh huh. And what did you marry exactly? Um. Wow. How did I? Let me just say it out. A mom with three kids. There we go. Now, how long have you been a listener, Hector? Uh, six months. All right. So you did not hear our show before you did this. Uh, no. But three months ago, uh, you gave me a great idea. What was that? Bumper. Dump that bitch. Dump that bitch. And so uh planned it out, got an apartment on the side, was paying for it. I did all the financial work on it, and uh, got fed up with her. How did she react when you dumped her? Uh, she was crying and everything, but it was over before that. Um, you know, I realized all she wanted me for was my money. My parents are rich, and uh, she thought she was going to be secure forever. And she wanted a baby, too. She wanted a baby because that's like an annuity. Oh, yeah. And I told her, uh, I don't want a baby. And, uh, you know, so I had to do what I had to do. And uh, How old is she that she's already got three kids? 38 years old. 38? Yep. You're 26. Yep. But thank well, you, you, you. You were stupid. No, I was an idiot. Yeah, beyond stupid. Oh, my. Yeah. But thanks to you, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm proud of you, Hector. Don't be doing that again, please. Never, ever, ever, ever again. Holy crap. Yeah, and I just want to personally thank you for saving me. Hector, it's all part of the day's work. <laughs>
Some like it. 1 800 5800 1 800 5800 I think you are the valid piece of excuse of a human being. Good, I'm glad you feel that way. We're telling our youth, our young people of America, that they should be treating women like dirt. Yes. And, uh, they should. I feel very sorry for you. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And we are talking about the guy who, uh, <laughs> well, he's getting married. But it's not good enough for his girl. She wants to have his baby. He's already got a kid. And now he can't figure out why she's being that way. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. It's Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. This is Eric. Hey, I, was, I don't know how related this is. Uh, I had a girlfriend, 21, 22 years old, pretty hot looking thing. She was always bugging me how she wanted to get married, wanted to have kids. I ended up just getting rid of her. I found out just today, a year later, that the guy, some guy she was messing around with, knocked her up, just le- left her. Yeah, I mean, just left her just like that. I thought it was just bittersweet. Love it. All right, I thanks. love that. I think it's great. Too bad for the kid, but hey. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not my fault, but, I mean, she was just looking for a meal ticket as well. I mean. <laughs> so she went and had sex with some uh, some deadbeat, some loser. Yeah, she was always trying to hook up with me. I mean, like, I have, I, I make all right. I mean, I, I mean, I make a living. No, no wife, no kids. I mean, I. I own my own place, too, I mean, but she was just trying to squeeze her way in there, and I just got rid of her. So it's, it's you stop, You stop trying to squeeze your way in there, I think. Exactly. <laughs> hey, thanks. Can you blow me up? I can indeed. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Shauna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Yeah, I was calling because I think that you guys are right when you say that if you want a vasectomy, please go get one. If you don't want kids, please don't have them. I'm in a situation where my husband and I, we got married while he was going into the military. And it wasn't a whole meal ticket or nothing like that. I was making awesome money on my own. He was making awesome money on his own. He just decided to go in the military and we decided to get married. Well, five years later... Um, we, well, actually, no, four years later, we had our son and he decides a year after having him that he wants younger women. And instead of getting a divorce and all that stuff, um, I decided to talk to him about it, kind of get over, you know, get down to the nitty gritty. And he was like, you know, I was young, you know, I wasn't expecting having kids this soon, blah, blah, blah. I had a child of my own before I got married. And like I said, I wasn't looking for a meal ticket, nothing like that, because I made really good money. And the whole thing is, is if you don't want children, you have to voice that to people before you get married. Because you cannot have these, you know, later down the line, oh, by the way, I don't want any children, and I didn't want them before, I didn't want them later. You have to tell people. Because I wouldn't have had a second child if he would have just said, hey, I don't want any more children. I would have been happy with him getting a vasectomy. I would have gotten, I've voiced my opinion about wanting my tubes tied over and over and over and over. I went out and got an IUD because I was just like, I'm not having any more children. That's ridiculous. And I really, really believe that you're right. It's, it's ridiculous for these women to snag these boys or young men because it's normally the young men. Older men usually get the hint really quickly that girls are after their money. But these young guys that are, you know, 19, 20, 21, they have these somewhat good jobs. These girls hook them in, grab them, have a baby without even asking them half the time. And then these guys are, like, stuck, and it's not fair. And I've even told my husband, hey, if you want out, go. Because in my head, I'd rather him be happy than us be miserable. So in my head, children are a responsibility that you have to, like, really, really want. Because if you're not both on the same level, then children, you know, are beside the point there. At that point, you just have a bad relationship. Because, I mean, like you said earlier, children aren't an, aren't like a bobblehead from a, 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 an Angels game. It's, just, it's not like that. They're a lifetime commitment. You can't. 
expect someone to go, oh, yeah, sure, I want 18 years with you just because, you know, you want a child doesn't mean that they want a child. You know, I think it's it's wrong that these women do that, and it, men do it too. I, my ex did it to me with my daughter. He was begging me and begging me to have a child. I finally was like, fine, we'll have a baby. And then he left me for no apparent reason at all. He just left because he was just done with it all. He was bored. So I ended up having to get a good job, having to support myself. I even told my husband now, hey, if you don't want to get married ever, I'm happy with that. I'm good. I'm a pretty independent woman. I'm an only child, so I've never had anybody take care of me. And I've even told my husband, if you don't want in a marriage anymore, just go. I mean, I'm not going to hold you back. So in my opinion, the whole vasectomy thing is go for it. If, if she's not down to, you know, let you have it or whatever, don't even keep her around. She's just going to use you for everything she ha you have, and then she's going to poke the holes in the condoms, get pregnant, and you're going to be stuck with her for 18 more years when you don't want her. That's right. It's true. Any it woman who horrible. says she wants to have a baby will have your baby if you give her enough time. Oh, she will. She, my, one of my ex-girlfriends, okay, no lie, she straight out popped holes. Put your mouth. Sorry, I apologize. No, he sued her for um, misleading him or something like that, and he ended up getting full custody of the child because he, he found a way of turning it around on her, saying that she was insane somehow. I don't know exactly, but I ended up not being friends with her. I thought it was ridiculous that she trapped him like that. And to me, children are not you know, a, a, a prize. There's something you have to care about. You know, you have to want them. You can't just go, oh, I want a baby just because I want one, and I need a, I need a nest egg, so I better get pregnant by this guy. That's bull because, you know, all you're doing is ruining someone else's life if they're not ready for it. That's all you're doing. I mean, my, my ex, you know, was very selfish. He pushed in, because I was young. I was very young, and, and at the time, you know, when you're in love and you care and you want that person, you know, you, you pretty much will bend over backwards for them, including having a baby. You know, men do it to women all the time. Oh, you want a baby? Fine, let's have one. And then, you know what? They're miserable the rest of their lives because they didn't want that baby. They just wanted to make sure that you were happy. And women don't see that with men. They don't look at their man and go, wow, he's treating me really good. I think I'll go ahead and pressure a baby now. Yeah, you make a lot of good points there. I thank you for that, Shauna. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Cody on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm great. Well, I just want to comment, you know, I'm 18, um, and uh, my last girlfriend, I dumped her now, but we're 18, and she's already talking about having kids in the future. Like, I'm 18. I can care less, you know? Yeah. Hello? I'm. I'm. Is that is that your whole statement? Well, no, but I mean, I just, I just see. Don't how repeat I, everything you, know, you already said. I'm asking, is that everything you wanted to say? No. All right. And uh, I just think that I think that same thing. You know, this you know this guy's girlfriend is that she knows that if anything happens down the line, she's she's getting a kid and she's going to get child support. Yeah, there's very little risk in it for women. Oh, very, very little. Like none. Pretty much none. Well, no, no, it's not that there's none because many women have sex with complete deadbeats and losers <laughs> and then spend the rest of their lives trying to chase them through family court, like family court's going like, to uh, draw blood from a stone. Yep. You know, but uh, if a woman has sex with a guy who has a job and who's responsible, there's no risk to her. None. She, She's getting a free ride and she knows that if anything happens, her ass covered. Oops, sorry. You can say that. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, just don't say the F word. Or <laughs> okay. the T word or the C word. <laughs> or the MF word. All right, Tom, well, I just want to tell you, I listen to you every day, man. You're great. And, uh, I want to know you can get out the bong hit. Uh, I right, here's your bong hit. <coughs> and only a rooster can say cock a doodle doo Wanted you to know that. See? That's right. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, there's certain words you can say and there's certain words you can't say. I mean, you can say blow. There's no doubt you can say that. 
And you can say job. I mean, that's just employment. You know what we're talking about there. You could you can say uh, both those words. Just don't ever say them one after the other. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Rachel on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi Tom. I just had a comment uh, about all the women who pressure men to have children. How they say they want their own biological children. Well, they can go ahead into a sperm bank. I mean, they practically view these men that they're trying to have children with as a sperm bank. That's all they see them as is dollar signs and and semen. So how is it any different? Why? cut the middleman out and just go straight to sperm bank and have their own biological Because, as I've always said on this program, a sperm bank can't pay child support. Right, exactly. So it's not that they just want to have children. There's always more to it than that that they just don't aren't willing to admit. And if they, you know, and a comment, I want to comment on uh, your earlier caller who uh, whose mother was, whose girlfriend's mother was pressuring him or saying he was denying his uh her daughter of having her own children he's not denying her if she wants to have her own children he's not ripping out her ovaries she can still bear children he just not doesn't want to have children with her so if, if he, she wants to have children move on to some other man who wants to do it i mean there's so many screwed up people in this world so many screwed up people because of these you know having children out of wedlock or just having children just for the sake of children or to have support i mean if they want if they pressure these men to have children Chances are, or if they do actually have children, chances are, besides the financial obligation, they're going to probably be an absentee or uninvolved father. What about the child's sake? They never think about that. They just want the dollar signs. You know, they just want the money. There's, because of all this epidemic of these children now, there's so many screwed up people in the world. There's no family union anymore. There's no mother and father who, you know, are willing to make the sacrifices to raise children, and that's like what our society has become. I mean, I was raised by a mother and father that taught me well. I'm 23 years old, and I'm very independent. I take care of myself. You know, I, I'm, I find myself to be much more knowledgeable about the simplest things in life that, you know, there's so many that I find just the normal people that walk around are just so airheaded or have no common sense. So they need to really think about it, both the mother and father, you know, about having children, period. It's not just financial obligation. It's a moral obligation. You know, it's a personal obligation. You need to raise good human beings, intelligent human beings, not just have a flock or, like, you know, a litter of kittens and that's it. You just feed them and bathe them and that's it. So they need to really think about this commitment of having a child. Well, I don't think uh, they really do. I think most women think about having a baby and getting all that that attention that that women get lathered with when they have babies, when they're pregnant. Exactly. I mean, the child does grow up. Do they forget that? This isn't just a puppy that they can pet and play with and take on walks. I mean, the child needs more than just food and water and attention. It needs to be raised and educated and taught certain things and you know so they need to really think about this this isn't just an investment in their future buying a condo and just watching it grow you know or what planting a tree so they need to really think about this both the mom and the dad you know so they really just need if they don't they need to stop pressuring these men and these men really need to be aware because as you always say they will have a child if they're with them long enough it only takes one time and they will have that child so men really need to be aware of that there's no oral contraceptives for men. If there was, I'm sure every man would be taking them. But unfortunately, the only the best preventable way is condoms now. So until they invent, invent a birth control for men, so men better beware. Yeah, no doubt about it. Rachel, thank you. Thank you. Real quickly here, Brandon, hello. Yes, hello. Hey, hey Dad. Hey. First time, long time. Yes, sir. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you like this. You know, I agree with you. Father knows best. You, you don't. I mean, don't don't sit here and invest your time in someone that wants to have a child with you because you know that's it's a dollar sign on, on the top of your head. That's all. That's all they want is is something from you. Well, I, I don't think there's anything romantic about it. I think you're absolutely right, Brandon, and I appreciate the call. Our email address: Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.